I'm going to show you how to convert flat 2D artwork like this into dramatic 3D illuminated objects using Zara 3D like this. And it only takes a few seconds. First, I'm going to select a bit of clip art for this example from the arrows folder. I just double click to load the file and close the clip art gallery. This is rather large, so I'm going to reduce it to a more workable size. I'm going to rotate it so it points to the right and put the zoom back to 100%. This drawing has a thick edge to create a very simple 3D effect and the status line shows it's a group. I want just the simple shape, so I'm going to ungroup and pull it apart. You can see there is a lot to this simple arrow. I'll delete everything except the basic arrow shape. If I go into the Shape Editor tool, it shows a problem that some externally sourced vector clip art suffers from, namely that it has way too many control points. Fortunately, Zara has a really simple path smoothing control. I just have to lasso select around all of the control points, like this and then adjust the smoothing slider here. And instantly, most of the unnecessary control points are eliminated. And so all I need to do to convert this into a nicely lit 3D version is to copy it and paste it into Zara 3D. Switching to Zara 3D, it's showing its default startup document. Zara 3D is incredibly simple to use. I can just drag on the background or on the object to rotate it in 3D space, like this. This drawing consists of two parts, a border and the text inside. These buttons control whether the shape has a border or not. In our case, we won't want a border, so I'll click here. When I paste my shape in from Zara Extreme, it takes on the current lighting and extrude settings. So a simple paste is all that is needed to show my shape. Now the fun really starts. I can just drag to rotate this object in 3D space and you can see different colour lights reflecting off the shape. It's important to realise that only the shape comes from Zara Extreme. No colours are transferred across, because Zara 3D defines all the object colours. To adjust the colours, I alter the lights that are shining on the object. And to display the lights, I click this button. You can see three lights, and I can just drag these to move them. So this purple light is shining from below. If I drag on it, I can move it around the object, to the front, or if I drag down and keep dragging down, it moves right around the back. To change the colour of the light, I just double click on it. This opens the colour editor panel, docked to the right. And now, if I alter the colour, you can see the object change as I do this. Simple. I'll now adjust the light shining from the left by double clicking on it and selecting a light blue colour and adjust the light angle a bit. This stripy light is the one that controls the shadow. I can either drag it or I can just drag on the shadow to adjust it directly. One of the most cool features of Zara 3D is its interactive extrude. If I move the shape around a bit I can just drag on the side of the shape to adjust the extrude depth, like this, thicker or thinner. So I'll make it a bit thicker. And you can see the nice reflections off the side as I move the orange light around a little. There are controls elsewhere to adjust whether the object is matte or shiny. So everything is live and interactive in Zara 3D. It's incredibly simple to adjust the lights direction of the object, the extrude, and more. So now, to put this back into Zara Extreme, I just copy, switch to Zara Extreme, and paste. And there's your extruded 3D version of the flat 2D shape. And I can apply all the normal Zara effects to this. I can reduce or rotate it as required. I can apply graduated transparency or all the usual Zara things. So let's see how easy it is to edit my 3D shape. 
I do this by altering the original 2D shape in Zara Extreme. Using the shape editor, I'm going to make the arrow have a more rounded end. I do this by adjusting the bezier control handles to something like this. Now I just copy the shape by pressing Ctrl C. Switch to Zara 3D using the standard Alt Tab shortcut and now paste Ctrl V into Zara 3D. So just three key presses to do this and as you can see it retains all the existing lighting and extrude settings. If I go to the Shadow Options panel you can see that I can adjust the blur and transparency from these pop-up sliders. These are live controls, as you'd expect from Zara, which means the drawing alters as I drag the slider. The bevel options are perhaps the most fun. I have a large list of bevel types that control the shape of the extruded sides. If I select none, then I have a simple flat 3D extrude like this. If I select a 45 degree bevel, I get a 45 degree carved edge. This can be quite effective if you adjust the lights to reflect off the bevel, like this. And this pop-up slider controls the bevel size, like this. A live control, of course. The rounded bevel type gives a rounded corner. And there are various other great bevel types. Here are a few examples and you can adjust the bevel size, as before. There are various round face options, which give a nice effect. And to copy this back to Xara Extreme, just Control C, switch back to Extreme, Control V, and your updated 3D shape appears. Back in Xara 3D, if you don't have the time to create your own 3D style, there are hundreds of preset styles provided. Select the Open option and you can now browse the provided templates. You can see a wide variety of styles. I'll select the wooden examples in this case and select one of the designs. And because the last design is on the clipboard still, I can just paste Ctrl V to see how it looks in this style. And so there you have it, a really quick really fun way of creating dramatic 3D extruded versions of your 2D shapes. Here are some more examples of what Zara Extreme and Zara 3D can create together.